Yo guys, I'm back with tutorials and it's been a long time. I've dropped so many so many <laughs> so many loop kits, uh, drum kits and stuff. Oh yeah, actually I dropped my drum kit. You can check it out if you would like to support me. But today I'm gonna show you how I make uh, samples like for 2C favorite song if you ever heard this song you probably did it's like a some pain melodic beats but uh, it's a bit different because it has 120 130 bpm it's not like 160 as usual so uh, it's it, it's it's a bit different and yeah I will show you the way how I make it so let's hear the whole sample. pretty interesting because it's like it's it's basically this this is the melodic sample basic one but it's 120 bpm and it might be a bit confusing when you make this uh, melodic samples to see rad wave but if you have to make it in 120 bpm it might be a bit like confusing to get all the things together so yeah let's first of all let's start with the vocal because uh, i recommend you to find vocals first and this is the vocal i found on youtube uh, you can find vocals like uh, everywhere basically you can go to youtube you can go to spotify you can go like whatever just find some set songs then i just played this piano pattern i used keyscape Usually I make a 8 bar pattern and then I just copy it and paste it here but I will but I usually add some like top lines here like a couple couple notes right here just like give it a bit more uh, fullness I don't know like yeah just add a couple notes right here so together sounds like this Then I got this bass guitar. It's a free plugin, Ample Bass P2 Lite. I got them all on zero. Because, yeah, I don't want these extra noises in the, in the sample. And I used the Pro Q3 just to cut some highs. So it sounds like this. So yes, what, what can I say here, you need to play with the velocity because if you play this right, like 100% velocity, it will sound like this. If you play it a bit lower, 
So you see this like the the real noises from the bass guitar they start to pop out so you, you just you just need to control your velocity and this is the way how you can get the mix of something in between of the like the real bass guitar and like something like I don't know but yeah just follow the steps and stuff uh, that sounds like this all together These are small fixes that I use in pretty much every sample that I have because you need to use them to make your sample more like more smooth and clean. So where you can get all this, you can get it in my drum kit. It's already on BeatStars, you can just go click the link in the description and get my drum kit. With a lot of sounds right there. Uh, this pad right here is also from the from my drum kit. Actually, I got a lot of fire sounds right there, this one as well. This one. And this vocal preset. I got a lot of presets right here. Like I got acoustic guitar, I got bass preset, I got guitars. R&B roles, I got vocals for R&B, like not for artist vocals, but for your samples like that you use from Splice and whatever. I got it everything in my drum kit. Just hit the link in the description and get it. Yeah, if you want to support. But uh, yes, as I said, next thing is the pad right here. It's all together sounds like this. <laughs> a bit more like a sp space to, to the whole sample and uh, at usually at this part when I cut everything pretty much everything I start to check the bounds yeah I start usually I start with the hi-hat and the rim shot I got just to check uh, if the acapella is on time and uh, everything is all right <laughs> for 88s and let's turn it on thing is arcade right here let's turn off the drums okay. 
Yeah, I love using arcade for guitars and vocals. And the final thing I want to say is that if you if you done with your beat or your sample, get a cappella from my drum kit. Yeah, I got a cappellas there too. You need to also put it on the right key. Just not just yeah. I think it's fire. I mean, it of course it's gonna sound like bad, but it's just because it's the acapella from the song that already exists. Like, it's gonna be a bad quality. It's gonna be a bad. It's, it's not gonna be your BPM, your key. So you gotta like, you gotta mix. It's dirty sound. But anyway, what you wanna check here is: is it even possible to put some acapella like? Is it possible to rap on your beats, man? Just just check this and send it to artists and it's already their job to find the way how they wanna sound on this beat like. But the fact that it's even possible, it's already like it means that you understand something in in this in the music industry and yes. Basically that's it for for the tutorial. I got stamps right there. This loop gonna be in my loop kit. I don't know which one. I dropped too many and I cook out a lot of samples lately. But I will definitely recommend you to follow me and check out my loop kits that I drop. So yeah guys, thank you for the watching. Please follow me here uh, on my Instagram. I will try to drop as much as I can. Yeah, thank you. Bye.